Welcome to the start of the Mushroom Garden in the Woods. All these bags are spent bloom bags. They've been used for commercial growing and they no longer really have the efficacy that they did when they began. So we're gonna recycle these and we're gonna bring new life to them. Got some bales of straw and hey, whatever. I bought cheap off uh, online, and uh, we're going to spread that out, as you can see here. I began to spread the straw out, and I broke up a couple of the bags. These bags were filled with grain and other substrate to give these mushrooms the best opportunity to actually grow. Now that they are spent, they're still good substrate. They aren't as strong as they were to begin with, but we'll add a little extra food to it with the hay. So we're gonna spread this out and uh, see how it all takes off. I got a layer of hay down now. I started breaking up some of the uh, rescue bags, boom bags, trying to get them organized here. They're just thrown in together. So we have some lion's mane going here, some pink oyster here. Looks like some, maybe some uh, king blue over here somewhere. But, uh, We'll start breaking them up and throwing them out on that layer of hay. Excuse me while my hay fever kicks in. Hooey. And uh, then I'll put another layer of hay over top of it just to uh, kind of give them nutrients from the bottom and the top. Well, we started the mushroom garden in the woods. And the pink oysters are just absolutely going crazy all the way down this row. Pink oyster caches of mushrooms. Even down here at the very end of the row, there he is, popping up out of the hay. And these guys down here, I want to give them a little help. I'm going to get them up into the area that I put the wood pellets and the straw in. We'll give them a little bit, a little bit more to food to munch on there. And then we come over to the other row. And here we go. Again, pink oyster mushrooms everywhere. All the way up this row. The next row over, beautiful cache of pink oyster mushrooms. I'm going to be plagued with this knotweed for the duration of this garden. It's going to offer some challenges. This stuff is very prolific. If given a chance, it'll turn into that. So it's going to require some maintenance down here. 
but it's such a beautiful, beautiful area. Look at all the pink oyster mushrooms just popping out of every bit of the hay and straw that we put down for them. They're really loving this. Look at this guy over here. What a beautiful specimen. I want to try to get it. I want to make sure that, oh yeah, it's, I see some mycelium growth, growth coming in into that. So, we're going to let them be. I'm trying to play with them too much. But, uh, and at the other row, have some beautiful, I believe these are king. Look at that guy coming up. Man, that is well, a good three inches across. Just a short amount of time. And right down here, little guy popping out there. And make sure that he gets a good opportunity. So, and then down here, Blue King. That's, oh, I don't know, five, six inches across. Just really coming to life down here. We've had a lot of rain. I'm sure they're loving that. And over here, in another row yet, we got this beautiful guy coming in here. What an extraordinary mushroom. I would say maybe this weekend we may actually be able to harvest some. But I want to give them, I want to give them a little bit of time. I, uh, I need to maybe brush up on when is the best time to harvest them because this is all quite new to me as well. So it's just a, it's an experiment, a learning curve that it's going to take some, some time to really get to know what I'm doing. But that's part of the fun of it. It's what I'm looking forward to. But, uh, I'm going to sign off for now, poke around in the straw a little bit, give you a little shot of how things are going, of the garden bed, mushroom garden in the woods. I think that's kind of cool. I hope you enjoy it. Oh, wait, look here, one more. Another big blue king, and a row all the way up. In the middle of the of the garden bed for your enjoyment, and uh, we'll keep plugging away. Lord willing, we'll pound out some mushrooms. This area right here, I hear, is going to be our biggest challenge because this is the lion's mane area. But that is not a lion's mane there. That's probably a blue. It just needs to come get a little stronger and grow a little bit. Kind of a neat looking little guy, isn't he? All right, well, I'm going to sign off, poke around, see what else I can find.